You're watching Black Tree on TV. It opens up and it cuts you. And then they come to collect. It's time. Hello, Adam. Hello, Gorn. How you how you doing? Hi. You know, just looking over you guys, IMDb, I've done so much great work. I, I mean, I remember uh, back when you were always on ER for all those episodes, Goran and and, and Highland, of course, Munich and Hellraiser and and Succession and all these great TV shows that that you've also done. And I wonder, like, when you now that TV has changed with the streaming platforms and everything else, has the way that you evaluate uh, projects and choose projects changed? Um, whereas, you know, it used to be so, you know, few TV shows and so just a limited amount of movies. Now that streaming has added all these new stories and all these new, uh, you know, platforms to, to view and has, has the way that you choose which projects to be in change. Um, uh, thank you for asking the question. Really, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's, 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 it's something that I live with and I debate with all the time now. Um, and I think I came to the conclusion that maybe I would change my mind about in a, in a, in a few, in few months. I'm, I'm not really sure that basically the work of an actor does not really change, right? Uh, the engagement of an actor to, a project, whether it's a movie or a TV or a series that lasts for like five years or just like a mini series, like limited, or it's just like what what you give what you give the character is the most important thing. You know, like how you melt your character with your personality with the character and what you give it and how you live it uh, is the most interesting thing. The the biggest difference is. Like when you do a movie, you know when you start and you know when you end and you know when your character starts and when it ends. With, a, with, a, with the TV, there is like an open, um, an open lifetime to it, you know, that really like, you know, when you start, but you don't know where, you don't know when it ends and you don't know necessarily where you're going. So there is something intriguing about that in a sense, you know. Because it just keeps you, it keeps your your neurons like kind of like you know uh, electric all the time, you know, and it keeps the excitement going. Sometimes you have deceptions because maybe it doesn't answer exactly your your needs or what you imagined, but it's still like it's 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 a great experience on its own, you know. Yeah. It's a puzzle, the only one of its kind, forgotten until now. And it's almost finished. Keep going. So if I solve it, do I get a prize? I do. And and Gordon, like, how does it feel for Hellraiser, which I mean, it's had so many um, so many iterations already. To, to kind of have this like retold new story, to have like this this movie that everybody kind of ha has their idea about, but to have have it retold in a way uh, in this in this iteration. Well, when David and I talked about the film. I specifically asked him, is this a remake? And David was, no, this is kind of a continuation of the story. I mean, I, I, I always wanted to know who these Cenobites were. Uh, the question was never answered in the old movies. You know, we don't have, we don't give that answer. But for us, David and I, when we were talking about, we, you know, in Star Trek, you know, they're like guests from another galaxy, explorers from another galaxy. In this case, these Cenobites, these creatures are explorers from different dimension, and they're looking for something that it's lacking in theirs. And they're coming to our world 
with certain rules and they can just get in easily. They have these gates like the box. And when they get in, they're looking for these specific things. And we really, we really kind of like uh, cut it down to very logical and very stern pieces of storytelling, at least in my mind as a void. That's how I was uh, approaching the whole thing. And it was much easier for me that way because I knew we are not doing a remake. We're doing like sequel number six, seven, eight, whatever. And we're telling our story and we are telling the story of these sadistic explorers from another dimension coming here and doing whatever they're doing so you know in my mind that was very helpful how to approach uh the whole film i wasn't thinking too much about the franchise before although i was very familiar with it and i like it i love the idea behind the box and these creatures coming in so i i was all in okay all right, all right. thank you thank you Gora. thank you thank you